lost lands between. To stand the fog. Become before an Elden Lord to the fellow the, the Elden Ring. Welcome back to Elden Ring Unfair Randomizer. A storm is a Bruin. And the Elden Beast is right over here. So we're gonna keep doing this for a little bit. See if we can defeat the Elden Beast. It can happen. Inside of a pot is not the ideal spot for us to be. Oh, I can't see anything over here. Ah! Elm beast. That's exploding. That was a good time. Camera is not not doing great. Need a big ring. Enemies run away. Ow! Terrain's not helping with that attack. That's for sure. Yep. Running. Dodge there. Apparently didn't need to. That's fine. Ah man. Yeah, it's not the. I mean, there's worse arenas, I suppose. to the Elden Stars portion yet. have range attacks. Alright. One thing I want to try here. I mean, we wouldn't have enough attacks. I'll see if we can get the Elden Beast over and around the area. Let me jump up top. The putrid Elden Beast is now right over there. Oh, we're not currently holding the dry cannon. He's standing all the way on the other side of the tree there. Yeah, that's not gonna quite work. Just look like we might be able to get away with a hit and run system here. Nope. Definitely not. Definitely can't get away with that. That goes straight through the tree, huh? Lots of force. Yep. <laughs> I want to 
let's see. Hmm. Let's pop on the jar dam for a second here. We're gonna be absolutely fat rolling in this setup. I wanna see if we can get far enough away. Out of aggro range or something. The answer to that question is so very unhappy with us. Oh, I did fifty damage. He's got he's got a lot of range attacks. So I don't think we can cheese the Elden Beast here. At least not very effectively. And if we don't completely reset aggro, we would get blasted trying to get back to him. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Definitely could come back later. But I think, especially in this location, this should give lots of runes. I think. Typically, that's how kind of, these kind of things kind of work. There's definitely, there's definitely easier targets available. Good. Yeah. Yeah. This. 
than that. It's it's still a large enough arena that you can just run all over the place. on flasks here. And we're dealing with Elden Stars. Which is always good. Just keeps on bonk for this. Not a deal when you can't stop, either. I don't think we really have a good answer to Elden Stars right now. That's the, that's the main problem. Otherwise, we're doing okay. Well, fairly okay at least. Could always be better. Popped around there a little bit, it's fine. We do decent damage. I mean, for varying definitions of decent, I suppose. Oh, where is he? What's he doing? He's all the way over there. Yep. I'm just gonna get closer. So he's less inclined to do the. Crazy blast. Okay. Yeah, open arena is definitely less annoying for fighting. <laughs> Everything. Yeah, how do we... The real question is, how do we deal with Elden Stars? Because if we can get that far, if we can get that far, we can't just run away or anything because of the massive range attacks. So that's not the thing. idea. Let's be in a better location for the fight. Not over next to everything. Make it hard to see. We're gonna use our fancy... Yep. Yeah, this is the attack I don't really want to deal with. Well, one of them. I can see a lot of things. It's great.
now. <laughs> He's definitely... Definitely strong. And I don't think we've managed to get him to like, fall off a cliff any. So That'd be nice, of course. I don't think we can count on that. That's not what I'll lock on to. Thanks. We also need to worry about getting too close to other enemies. That'd be not very helpful. Oh, I want to get the crit. Future down the police. Zimbap! Zimbap! Yep, there's Elden Stars. You stop fucking hitting me! <laughs> Thousand runes, a memory stone, and a smithing stone five. Nice. Good stuff. <sighs> Good stuff. Alright. Wow. Wild. Wild. Exciting. I'll, I don't know if you can do Elden Stars multiple times. But the way that we just ended up having the Elden Stars delayed that much was pretty nice. Oh, not gonna complain about that. Keep on putting into intelligence. One more and we can start using spells without needing to have a great rune on. So that'll be nice. That is that off the list then. Let's do that. Alright, very good. Very good. Decent, decent reward there. Cross that off. Okay. Head to the next location now. I mean, now that we're exploring, I actually want to be in the other setup here. I think we're also going to just pop the... So let's take off these. Back on the magic. And the jar cannon. And the inventory. Rune arc. Just is a lot more of just everything. It's just, just, just a good time. And now we have an extra memory slot. We put another spell in here. Um, I'm gonna lure his brief though. It's okay. 
Let us. We can move on. Switch to this, we can fire off some magic along the way here. There we go. So, next, we're gonna go down slightly lower towards a cave. So, we can get around there safely. Ah, we lost one of our blades. It's fine. Just a fun time having all the little magics chasing us. How much protection is it actually affording us? Questionable. But it's okay. It's okay. Another glove work. Still have not used any spirit ashes this time around. He's very resistant to magic. Or maybe those are just weak. Yeah, still pretty resistant to magic, honestly. There you go. And we're gonna need to reassign more flasks to magic too, if we're gonna do that. We can do that though. Here is a side of grace. Very cool. Very convenient. Whoop. There you go. And we can get stuff here. The swords are still flying. That looks pretty cool on this screen. Flasks. Okay. I'll do two for now. Depends how much magic we end up trying to do. This goes up here towards the death room. We already dealt with that, I think. Or maybe we didn't deal with that. We dealt with the stuff up on the next ledge. Those seem to do very little damage. This guy's just incredibly resistant to magic. It's also possible. Yeah, comparatively. Sword go to sword go bonk. Alright, a death bird. How, how about you come over here? Away from your friends. Ow. Why is it a pretty strong one? Do you like to deal with this with like magic or something? gonna not go that way. Already been there. And really does not seem like any of the bosses, unless they've replaced like specifically a mini boss or hmm, scarab or anything, don't really seem to drop much. That's good. The direction we actually want to go, oh we lost the Great room there. This is why we get want to get a level. We stop needing to use these. Right. 
let's just say it's not working. Oh, we're not wielding. Uh, that's why it wasn't doing any damage. We're not wielding the correct talisman. We need this one. There we go. That'll be better. If you can't actually do damage, it's not particularly effective. I do like the slicer, though. That's pretty good. Anything over here? Big magical plant right there. On Torrent does not seem the best time for slicing. Let's use the cannon here. And I think this is one of the magic versions. So they're more immune to magic damage. So I think. Exploding. Should be pretty effective. Eh. Rude. Rude. See, on this setup, we can switch to the jar cannon relatively quickly. Caves are not going to be kind to the phalanx here. Lots of walls for them to get popped on. In here we're going to want the slicer in case we get close to anything. What do we got in here? Looks like a big dragon. Very big dragon. I'm not sure it's fire in here. Locked onto the head. <laughs> That's not where I want it to be locked on. So I guess this is where the dragons of Dragon Barrel went to. They're down in the caves now. This is a very awkward location. This is a fight for magic. Let's try the sword. <laughs> Definitely an awkward location for this fight. That's for sure. Awkward. Very awkward. <laughs> and this isn't even the boss for the dungeon. This is just this is just a dragon in here. So that's fun. <laughs> we have fun here. <laughs> Light back on. I 
guess that also means we kind of want to... Oh, you're in a really awkward location. I would love to hit your back legs. Oh, the camera is definitely part of this fight. <laughs> That's a big slam. Should be just stuck in the roof. <laughs> That'd make my life easier. It's large enough that I don't think we're gonna be able to hide around the wall or anything. I don't think that would work. Big guy. Big guy. Now let's get two of our... Let's get the flasks back onto healing here. One more level. One more level. 87,000 runes. Could happen. Could happen. Anything else in here? Boost max HP, boost max stamina. Resistances, magic attacks, charge attacks, more damage received to HP. Yeah. Allocate. I come here. We're doing decent on the whole flask situation at this point. So we got that going for us, which is nice. Not doing a great job being in this little cave. Where's he at? There he is. Now. <laughs> yeah. And now he's above. Sure. Now fire. Dragon just pops out of the ceiling. Honestly, pretty concerning. Oh, there he is. Ow. There you go. <laughs> One giant dragon in a small cave. Dealt with. Completely unnecessary, but wild stuff. Alright. Well, that was definitely something. Here is Great Oracular Bubble. Okay. Owner 9. Nice. 
Even from there. Go down these other ways. These guys. Hefty bones, sure. Well, it's much nicer to explore the cave without dragon. Does make things easier. Well, well. And what do you guys got here? They got friends still. Social crossbow. What do you got in here? A cracked pot. Interesting. Yeah, making, making any recipes is definitely a complicated matter because of not really having the books where expected. That's okay. Let's keep moving forward here. Next part of the cave is dropping down. First sanctuary step. See a few guys down here. They're doing fine. Not super concerned about a few normal guys. Compared to a giant dragon in the cave, things are easier. There's a lily. There's that guy. Beast liver, sure. Some volcanic stone. Archer ashes, okay. That's where we were before. Deeper and deeper we go. More volcanic stone. I think this is. Probably the boss fight area. <laughs> Castilian of Fermazula. What? Yeah, what one Castilian. Not even a rot version. Not impressed. Golden Sea. You were you were at sixty five thousand runes for that. Nice. So, I think that we can basically confirm the amount of runes is based on the what it would have been from the enemy that was the boss. Because right on Caleb, we're getting or Dragon Barrow even we're getting a lot more runes here. So that's nice. Nice big pile of runes there. Fantastic. And now we'll return to the entrance. Alright. There you go. And we're back actually down in. Or to use the side of grace here. 87, so we need 3,000 runes for another level. We can do that. Let's get that done here. Level up. 55. So with that... We can actually use... The magic. As long as we have the seal on. That's fine. Flasks. Still have the free route on, possible. Maybe not. 
Probably not because we fought the dragon and we're dying. So. Next spot that we want to check out. It's gonna be the Divine Tower. So let's get over there. Did not want to do this while needing to have great runes on for anything. So that's just that's just not gonna work out too well. Let's see if we can get in here. We got lots of parkour shenanigans. So perhaps magic can be helpful. Or maybe we're gonna want more controlled system. Just heaven sword. Guy over there. Let's go. That's going to take a few hits. <laughs> Obviously, be helpful. And we'll finish off with a regular one. can we get up to up here? Shenanigans, most likely. There's also, ooh, Watchdog Greatsword. This is also not a great spot for the sword, since it's so close to walls and stuff. But the staggering is nice too, so I guess we'll see how things go as we try to get inside here. And around and all that. Not that way though. See so there's a ladder over here, there's also a ladder over there. Lots of options here, I guess. Kinda. A few options at least. So where we can fall down. Yeah, this is more of a you can fall down too. Exactly how to get around to here. It's a question. Alright. So here we got a crossbow guy. He's gone. I mean, technically, he's not gone, gone. Oh, nope, we're gone. Back step. Perfect. Lovely. Alright. Alright. This is why we do not want to be risking a great rune here or anything. Not, not very safe. <laughs> By any means. Any loot around the outside of this really worth exploring around? Probably. Get down to there. Corn, please. We 
Would you like to jump off to our death? Thank you. Appreciate it. How very, how very convenient of you. My goodness. Alright. <laughs> yeah, depending on what enemies are up here, this could definitely be shenanigans. Alright, I came over here. Just down there. I don't even do much about that. So we're just gonna grab this. And continue. Always being careful for holes in the floor here. Flame blade and some butterflies. Neat. Fun. Good stuff. And that's the end of this path. Yeah, definitely worth looking around here. As dangerous as it obviously is. And as slightly janky as it can be. And honestly, once you're even up a little bit here, any fall off is going to be just death, so it doesn't make a huge difference. Next level here. This way. We go this way. Up. Oh. Not a huge amount this direction. I don't think we make that jump. So. <laughs> Let's keep walking around. Lots of concerning jumps here. This is this just where we were before? Mm, not quite. Boy, this place is a mess. <laughs> Where do we want to fall to? Good enough. Good enough. Ah. Uh, well, let's just try continuing more. Looks like the archer's here now. Even left us a flower. Delightful. So that way didn't work too well for us. Let's try the other way. With even more holes to deal with. Because of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? Right over here there's another one. Guy. Got some crossbow, sure. Into oh my goodness. Jump across that. Oh, nope. Now we're over here. Okay, so we need to go down to go back up the other ladder over here. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Constantly jumping to safety, or at least trying to. A lot of opportunities for failure here, that's for sure. There's, there's some platforms we can manage to be on. That's good. Okay. Then... Here. In this part. 
Okay. Good. There you go. That's too far. Look, look how close this ladder is to the side here. It's madness. To here. Can't make that jump though. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna worry about it. It's gonna go. <laughs> Should be sight of grace up in here. That'll be helpful. Hopefully. There I see him. Okay. Just creeping our way into the Divine Tower of Caitlin. And we will rest here. My goodness. Let's sneak around the edges here. If there's anything, there's, there's totally a thing down there. Can't get there from here. Or maybe. <laughs> Reduvia. Neat. And now that we can just go back to the side of Grace and go down here easily. And this was a ladder that went to this level, I guess. It was broken on this side. There you go. Don't know if we're actually going to be able to do much in here. We'll look around. I think we just can't go to the top, probably. So we need, like, the... Great room. something. Try the box. Yep. We can go down, though. Probably. Let's head that way. And then there's a boss at the bottom. Rest again. Alright. Getting down here could be an interesting situation. Again, really depends on what enemies are here. But that is, that's true for everything, so... A Ryan Crystallian, fantastic. Now, <laughs> I really feel like there's some weirdness about rolling next to Crystallians. I don't know. Feels like it's something. I really think I can get down to the bottom here quickly. Probably not. I mean, depends how we do things. Yeah, I tried to roll into him. Oh my gosh, is it? Is it my spiky legs counting as an attack bouncing off? I think that's what's happening here. That's ridiculous. Because, yeah, if you use the wrong kind of attacks, they bounce off. So that counts for the legs, really? <laughs> that's wild. That's wild, is what that is. I can't roll next to a Castellian. Great. Right. Huh. 
That's strange. That's a that's a strange mechanic, is what that is. So let's take off our legs for a second here and see if this actually does just straight up work better. Honestly, at this point, so I kill the Crystallian once and they're probably gonna be done here. Now he's made me angry. <laughs> yeah, we, we were able to roll next to them again. So I guess that would also happen against like. the stone guys. open this door. It's not open from this side. Never mind. So now we have to do the whole parkour bit. So I guess we can just run past the Crystallian. But yeah, we need to get down to the bottom here. It's gonna be a whole situation. As wild that our pants were messing us up so much there. Anyways. Yay. To the bottom of the tower. Next time. Goodbye.